Hi, crafty friends. Okay, guys, have you ever been in a store and you saw something and you're like, oh, I can totally make that? Yeah, that was me. So I was in Michael's and I saw these really cool wood, um, uh, like beaded garlands, but they had a twist and they put the little round circles of wood, like you can see right there, in between the beads and they were so cool. So I thought, let's, let, we're going to remake this. So I did a tassel out of just regular old Dollar Tree twine. Now the wooden circles, I got at Dollar Tree also, and then the beads um, I've had. So we are going to um, start making this garland. Now you can see this twine, um, sometimes it'll curl up, but I have a little tip for you to fix that. So I'm gonna do three of the round, or no, I'm sorry, five <laughs> of the round beads first, and then we'll put one of the circles on. So what I did was I've just got a big long piece of um, twine here and I put a, um, a snow uh, snowing <laughs> no that would be sewing needle on the end just to get it through some of the holes because um, I'm using all different sides of uh, sizes of beads so I cut it off and left enough length so that I could tie that circle onto it. So once we get it tied onto this side, then we are going to tie it onto the other side as well. And then we will just continue with, like I said, I did five beads and then I'll do another circle and just all the way around that I went. I ended up using what, uh, five of the circles, I think. And then I wanted to do a tassel on the other end of it so it's just like one length or you know one long garland so really you could do this any length you wanted um if you just wanted one tassel on the side or also you could even paint these beforehand um, if you wanted to do certain colors or maybe just like a whitewash or something like that. But I love just the natural look of it sometimes. So I thought, oh, yep, let's do that. Now, you know, it's when you're using this twine, it is so difficult to get through the eye of the needle. So I always used to use a little bit of scotch tape on the end of the twine and then just kind of fold it over and then it'll go right through the eye of the needle uh, and make it a whole heck of a lot easier to get that end in, into there. So once I got the first, um, kind of got a little bit faster after this, kind of settling in, figuring out how it's easiest to do this. Um, but I just left the long um, pieces sticking out <laughs> for right now on the circles. And then I'll go back at the end and just trim that off. That way I don't have to worry about it as I'm going along here. Now, grab out an iron and you can iron your tails to have them lay flat. I just think this is so stinking adorable. All right, friends, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow the page for more.